What's up, New World Explorers? Big Head Kitty back. And today I want to show you how to solo this guy, Memnon, to get when season five starts this sweet hatchet artifact called Sin. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you the stats on the weapon and what we need to do. So here we go. Uh, so Sin is a brand new artifact with uh, the season of the Guardian season five in the New World MMO. And basically, we're going to go to the top of the wall of Nebit Het and we're going to battle the Colossus of Memnon. He's uh, near two of the elite treasure chests and there's a couple of psycho pump the uh ancient mummy looking guys that are there so if you go as a group it's a lot easier but i'm going to show you how you can get there and solo it as well if you haven't been there before um you can get in the elite chain uh trains for the chest runs that people do if not you can go to the crate shrine of thoth and then follow through these portholes until you actually get to the top um you're going to need some of the glyphs and stuff though so make sure that if you haven't, uh, there's lots of videos out there showing you how to get all the glyphs of brimstone sands if you're a little bit newer. So once you get to the top, I'm going to show you what you need to do to kind of isolate Memnon and defeat him fairly easily. So the best way I've found to separate him from all the other mobs, uh, at least the first time you can run in there if you're going solo, it's basically just run up, aggro all the mobs, and then run back until you get uh, to where kind of where you start it, where the narrow passage is, and nothing else will really follow you. And you run behind that block, and then Memnon, he seems to like follow you all the way so you can just battle him there and basically what i'm doing is i'm just using right now this is a sword and shield with a with a tower shield and a flail and shield and it's pretty easy you're just going to want to do some heavy attacks in your abilities and you'll knock them down it's just a long fight of attrition uh, there's really nothing to worry about here with that i'll also show you you can kill him other ways too so i'll scale down and change my gear a little bit and use a lighter shield and switch to rapier to show that you can beat him that way as well Pretty much as long as you can dodge or block his heavy attacks and then return with your own heavy attacks to stagger him, uh, he's pretty easy to beat. Just depends on how long you want to take doing it. You can do it slow and steady and take 5 to 10 minutes, or you can do it pretty quickly and take 2 or 3 minutes and risk death a little more. But it seems to repop every 5 minutes or so. So you can do that and then go back up and kill the Psycho Pumps, which are actually a little tougher just because you have two of them there. And sometimes you'll have the Archers respawn while you're fighting, so that adds a little bit of... Uh, Maybe a little bit of skill to it, but it's pretty easy, it's, especially if you have 700 gear. I have an older video where I actually soloed this messing around just to see if I could solo it with the 625 gear score. And it was fairly similar. It just took a lot longer. So here we go. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, enjoy. I'll skip ahead a little bit there. It's As you can see, it's pretty simple. You're just rotating around all your abilities, blocking, throwing heavy attacks to stagger it. So after I defeat it here, I'm going to switch uh, my attributes and the shield and go to Rapier and just show you that you can do it that way too. Pretty much like I said, any way that you block or dodge away and don't get hit too much. And just don't get knocked off the ledge or anything if you get too close to the side. But it's fairly simple, so I'll switch to Rapier and let you see a little bit of that real quick. So when you switch in here from Sword and Shield and Flail and Shield to Sword and Shield and Rapier, um, just a little bit, you get hit a little bit harder of course because that's put my constitution down around 100 and I think strength at 100 and then my 350 or so for the dexterity so it could damage a little faster. I mean the key is basically just to separate it like before, um, kill off any of the ads and stuff, uh, maybe pop a potion if you need to at the beginning and then after that uh, use your flurry ability if you have that spec'd whenever he uh, does a heavier attack so you kind of get the invincibility for one of the perks on the skill tree for that. And then um, I'm using the finisher rapier, so it has that nice finish move where it does extra damage for the amount of bleeds on there. So not too bad at all. Um, if you enjoyed the video, find it helpful, uh, lets you know that you can solo this mob when the season starts so you can get that pretty sweet hatchet. Um, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you do, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.